Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism and am I who, who the asshole is? Am I the asshole? We're going to do that today. Um, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Love it if also you would consider listening to my new podcast, Navigating Narcissism. It's doing really well. That's really thanks to all of you. Um, if you haven't started listening, you can hit the link in the video notes and you can subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast. It's a whole different look on narcissism. And so too is Am I the Asshole? So here's today's. It's Am I the Asshole for telling my husband to quit waking me up? So this lady asks, Am I the Asshole for calling my husband out on this? Without fail, every time my husband, so she's 29, husband's 37, wakes up in the middle of the night, he wakes me up fully to ask me what time it is. Both of us sleep with our cell phones charging next to our beds. So it's just as easy for him to reach out and check the time on his own phone as it is for him to wake me up and ask me. My husband tells me I'm being in the asshole because I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Gaslight. I say waking me up for something meaningless that he can do for himself with less effort than he expends, show, than he expends asking me shows a complete disregard for me and is really selfish of him. Now, I know you're going to say that I'm making a huge deal of nothing. No, sweetie, we're not. You're making, a, you're making a huge deal where a huge deal... You're not even making a huge deal. You're making a deal where a deal should be met. But it's not like this is a sometimes thing. He does it often several times a week. And when he does, it always takes me forever to fall back to sleep. This is awful. We both work full-time jobs and have an infant. I do 100% of the nighttime baby duties because my husband commutes farther than I do. So he says it just makes sense for me to let him sleep since he has to be out the door before I do in the morning. But bitch, he's not letting you sleep. I need to be clear. I'm not complaining if he wakes me up due to the baby needing me. I wake up to the baby's cries. I don't think my husband even hears it. My complaint is strictly that he wakes me up to ask me what time it is. I feel like he's being really selfish. Sometimes I just want to sleep too. Anyway, am I the asshole for complaining and telling my husband to cut it out? Or is he being needlessly insensitive to my needs? Oh my God, so not the asshole. In fact, this is abusive. There's something very punitive happening here because it's, not, it's so unnecessary. He has the ability to check the time. First of all, I'm going to tell you, lady, there is a purchase. You can, there's something you can buy. It's actually kind of cool. It's an alarm clock. And the way it works, it has like a projector device. And it projects the time onto the ceiling. It's, it's kind of faint. And I think it even is like a blue lighty thing. But literally, you'd wake up at night and you'd be like, 2.53. Got it. Like on the ceiling. Can't miss it. No, it's not like something could be blocking the alarm clock. I would consider investing in that and then getting him a clock that sits on his nightstand. Just clock up that room, all right? That's a bad fix, though, to what you have as a real problem. One thing people need to know is screwing with a person's sleep is actually a sign of an abusive relationship. And we see it play out in different ways. One thing we see is that, for example, that a person will create arguments with someone right before bedtime, thus disrupting their sleep or if a person's already asleep, waking them up to have an argument with them. Controlling sleep is controlling a very basic bodily function. What is even more sort of shocking to me about this particular story is that this, this woman has a full-time job and a new baby. So this woman is getting up, maybe her kid's a good sleeper, you know, and bless her, I hope he is after what she's being put through. So this woman has already been waking up at night to take care of a child. She's trying to sleep. The husband is, complain is, is, is claiming to be some martyr because he commutes further. So she meets him halfway on that. And yet he, he's waking her up for something that is so unnecessary. And then he tells her she's making a big deal out of nothing. That's gaslighting because it's not nothing. Waking someone up in the middle of the night when it's known that they have trouble falling back asleep is actually cruel and abusive. So like this woman has a big problem in her relationship and now she has a new baby with this person. So now she has a really, really big problem. So he is being selfish, but it's beyond selfish. This is literally abusive. I don't know if this dude's a narcissist. It's very unempathic. It's deeply entitled. It's incredibly arrogant. So <clears throat> the signs don't po point well, but it's a pretty narrow band of behavior we're focusing on. Listen, if this was me and someone was doing this to me, I'd set up some sort of little cot in the child's room and I would sleep in that room. 
I would literally sleep in, in that space and not, I, I would rather at least be in the same ch room as my child so the thing I was being woken up for was valid and not to be a talking clock. So I would say that she's already attempted to communicate, so communication's off the table. She should try to get some sort of, if, if, the, if the ceiling clock isn't expensive, she should get that. And if he's still waking her up, then we're talking about manipulation and abuse. And then, depending on how she wants to proceed at that point, that one's on her. I'd highly advise she gets therapy because this is actually a really, really problematic relationship. And then in the interim move her base of operation to the child's room. And um, I'd sleep in a hallway before I'd want to sleep next to somebody who was doing this to me. Should they happen to have an extra bedroom or even a living room couch, perhaps consider those places too. It would be very interesting to see though. It'd be a real test. If she, let's say she moved to sleep into the child's room, put a, something on the floor, maybe there's even a little bed for her to sleep in. If he came in that room and still woke her up in the middle of the night, then you know she's actually dealing with something quite quite abusive, quite problematic, quite coercive, frankly. And she really would want to, you know, get into therapy and figure this out. Because you've just had a baby and you're working a full-time job. That's not easy. So she already has that much on her plate. And she has a husband who is waking her up in the middle of the night, waking her up fully to mess with her. That, to me, feels like he's trying to punish her. And if he can't see that, and thinks she's the one who's being selfish, she's in a lot of trouble. I actually feel for this woman. So um, waking people up, never okay. You're waking someone up, it is a, a pr like there's something wake up a bull. Needing someone to tell you the time, not worth waking up for. And so she can try a structural fix. I still don't think that though it takes away the inherent issue, disrespect, and lack of empathy in this relationship. Listen, people move to separate rooms when one of them snores. So, and that's considered actually quite acceptable. This could actually be a reason to say, you know what? What I'm going to do is, since you keep interrupting my sleep, I think I'm going to just start sleeping in another room because then I can at least sleep through the night because right now the interrupted sleep is taking a toll. Because over time, getting woken up several times a week in the middle of the night is definitely going to take a significant toll on her health as it would for any of us. So, hon, you are not only not the asshole, I'm actually a little bit worried about your health. So you take care of you. And anytime anyone interrupts any of your sleep for any reason other than an emergency or a real need, and it's not a child, someone sharing the bed with you, pay attention to that because that's actually indicative of a really problematic pattern. Thanks again.